Well, slap me happy and welcome to the Toxic Tomb. It is I, the greenish fiendish Toxic Zombie, here to fix you up on Terry Lofton's 1985 shoot to thrill shot, Nail Gun Massacre. Wrong movie, wrong tool, you tool. That's better, thank you Uncle Critter. Man, are you really dumb. Oh really? This coming from a guy who says... Look, there's a tree over there. You're surrounded by trees, you idiot! Anywho, what we've got here is a tale of sweet revenge served up construction style on a load of rednecks who find themselves being stalked by a camouflage motorcyclist. What's so special, you ask? Well, this maniac is armed with a compressor-driven nail gun. Do you remember when you could sit outside and not worry about the mosquitoes and the killers? I would be more afraid of mosquitoes. As we follow men not only as Sheriff and Doc, we begin tallying up the dead bodies left behind by our mysterious whodunit killer. Man, I can still say it. I just got a long run and a vaccination. What? Uh, seriously, well, what did he say? I, I can't... Uh, throughout the movie, we are not only treated to rubber nail makeup, but also random and rather loud stingers. Yes, like that. For no real reason. Okay, enough. So the body pile up, as does the sub-acting and poorly done editing. In the finale, we are given a finale so intense and suspenseful, I almost jumped out of my bones. <laughs> kind of like that, but with more enthusiasm. What was the nail-biting twist? That's for you to find out. I wouldn't want to give anything away, except for my eyeballs after viewing this. Summary time, let's do it. We have tree nailing. No, not that kind. Ritz eating. Daddy barbecuing, Tom's folk acting, and hearse chasing. After a short debate, I, the toxic zombie, give this tacky travesty one and a half brains. Most of the watchable scenes come in from parts too bad to miss. Until next time, fiends, remember, if you can't eat them, join them.